Welcome everyone to this Slab Stocks Educational 101 video. I am your host, Nate, and today we are going to be covering scams to look out for in this video. Now, this is very generic, high-end look at scams. We can't cover every scam out there, and we wish that people would not scam others out of their cards. It's an unfortunate uh, thing that happens in the card community quite often that people getting in probably will not realize that is happening. So if you're watching this and you're new, just keep an eye out for scams. And if you follow these simple kind of steps um, and look out for these simple scams, you should pretty much be protected from a lot of them, but I can't guarantee all of them. So let's look at uh, different areas uh, that people get cards and let's look at scams in them. The biggest one is eBay. So many cards get sold on eBay um, every single day. Billions of dollars worth of cards get sold on eBay every single year. And what you got to look out for, the biggest one is returns. So eBay has a 30-day money-back return policy on purchases made on eBay. Unfortunately, that does not work well for cards. And the reason for that is because you have 30 days to gauge if you really want, if a player's prices go up. So you buy um, Baker Mayfield for $200, right? And Baker Mayfield throws six interceptions against the Cincinnati Bengals, and his prices go down to $100 two weeks from now. Are you going to – there's a lot of people that are going to sit there and say, I spent $200 on this, and now it's a $100 card. I don't want to take that loss. So instead, I'm going to force eBay to do a return for me, and I'm going to get my $200 back, and I'm going to send back this card that is now worth $100. That's a big-time scam in that it's illegal. They can do it, and yet it's unfair to the buyers um, or to the sellers that sold you the card. You made a bad decision. Instead of living with the consequences, you returned the card. So that is one big scam that you got to look out for, buyer's remorse, I would call it. And then another one is returning of the wrong card. Sometimes guys will get a card and uh, ask to return it. And then instead of sending you back your $500 Luka Doncic card, they send you back your $5 Luka Semantic card from the Spurs. And there's not much you can do about it. Not many ways you can prove it to eBay. Um, so that is another one where uh, you got to kind of look out for that and do your best to do deals with people with uh, good reviews on their eBay accounts. Avoid those guys that all of a sudden have zero reviews and are trying to buy you know, a $5,000 card. It's likely that they're just going to try to scam you. Uh, maybe not likely, but a good possibility. Um, as for other places with scams, Facebook Marketplace, obvious scam is buying an item and then the seller never ships it. So you go on and you buy an item, um, uh, you know, you buy a Wander Franco auto because it looks like too good of a deal. The guy is selling it for $150 when it's a $500 card and he asks you to send him money, friends and family, which we will cover in a little bit. And you say yes and you send that money to him and then you never hear from, again, him, from him again and uh, you send him messages and he never responds and he activates his account. A good way to skip to avoid this is by doing research into the seller beforehand. Look on his account, see if he's done any other deals, see if he's got an actual profile with pictures and like life events and stuff on there. Um, if it's just a guy that all of a sudden has an account and a generic picture and um, is all of a sudden selling cards, likelihood is he's on there without with a fake account trying to make uh, some quick cash off of you. So avoid that. That's an obvious one. Uh, buying and not sending money. Instagram wise, same thing with Facebook Marketplace. Buying something, buying a card and not sending happens all the time on Instagram where a person buys a card from another person. They think they trust them and then they never, you know, they never send the card or you send the card before they send the money type of thing and you're out of luck. Um, only do deals for Instagram. I'd only do deals with people you know personally. You might think you trust Joe Blow because he has 2,300 followers, but if you don't know him personally and you he buys um, a big enough card off of you or sells a big enough card to you where you're sending him $5,000, friends and family, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I can have $5,000 and this card, he might not send that card. He might not. 
Um, even if he has 2,000 followers, he might just be like, it's worth losing the followers for the money. So make sure you know them personally. Um, just because somebody has a high follower account does not mean they are necessarily trustworthy. I've seen people with uh, pretty significantly high follower accounts and follower accounts that take a while uh, scam people out of cards and also low follower accounts. So make sure you know them personally. Um, and if not personally in person, make sure you've had a long standing conversation with them on Instagram, DMs, the whole nine yards. Uh, get other people's recommendations of them so that you know that you are making a legit deal. You do not want to send a card to somebody and then not get any money for it. Um, and then lastly, we're going to cover PayPal. PayPal, obviously, you're not buying cards through PayPal. It's usually Instagram, Facebook, Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, anywhere, Mercury, you know, stuff like that, StockX. Um, but make sure you always protect yourself if you do not know the person by making them pay goods and services. Either you lose a little money on the fees or you make them pay a little more for the fees. But it's the only way to protect yourself from getting scammed. If you go friends and family, there's no way that e that PayPal can get the money back for you if they didn't send the product. Um, and if you go goods and services, also make sure they send uh, shipping um, a tracking number with that order. So friends and family is really nice way to avoid fees on PayPal. And if you really know somebody really well, go friends and family. It's a good way for you to save money. It's a good way for them to save some money probably. But if you don't know them, make sure you go goods and services. So those are just a couple of scams, obviously very high end look or a very broad look at scams in general. There's always going to be more scams and new scams popping up, um, whether you're watching this tomorrow or 10 years from now. Uh, you never know what scams are going to take place. Just keep an eye out for them. Protect yourself by going friends and family and just do the smart thing and uh, you'll be fine. So thank you everyone for listening to this Slab Stocks 101 video and I will talk to you again in the next video.